In previous videos, I showed you how you can use what I call the cookie cutter method to select tracks, for example, within a particular urban area. And that's where you would typically highlight um, a particular urban area. This is the Denver Aurora area. Um, and what you would do is once you have that piece of data highlighted, you would then right click and data export it um, and save it as its own shape file. And then you would use that new shape file in a selection method. I want to show you a quick shortcut rather than actually going through the process of exporting your what is to be your cookie cutter. What you can do is go ahead and highlight whatever you want. This could be a county, it could be a set of counties, it could be a couple of states. Um, but whatever you ultimately want your cookie cutter to be, you would actually just go ahead and highlight it using the select features pointer. And then you can bring in your tracks or whatever the other elements you want. And then when you go to the selection menu, select by location, and in this case I'm going to try to get tracks that intersect with um, my cookie cutter. Now of course the source layer, the cookie cutter right now is just in all urban areas in the United States, but if you make sure that this little box is checked where it says use selected features, and of course I only have one of those features selected at this point, um, in GIS's mind it will only select tracks that intersect with that particular um, selected feature, so the Denver Aurora urban area. Um, you always want to make sure that's checked. If it's not, what it'll do is it'll select tracks in all of the urban areas in the United States and you'll be there quite a while. So I'll just go ahead and hit OK. And you can see how it went ahead and selected those tracks that I wanted. And you could shape those up as you want. And once you have the tracks you want highlighted, you would just then data export data those out of the corresponding tracks data layer. Um, so that's just a little bit of a shortcut rather than going through the sort of formal process of actually officially creating a cookie cutter um, and then moving on. So, hope that's helpful.